Hello, YouTube family. I know it's been a long time. I haven't come to you since I showed you the hairdo that I'm in love with. But this is my hair at the moment. It's been, it's October 3rd, 2nd now. So I know I chopped off the remaining hair probably sometime this past summer when I first moved to Texas because it was just so hot. But this is my hair, freshly washed, deep conditioned. I do that every week still. Um, I'm about to put my comb rolls in it so I can wear my dues because, you know, I'm always rocking my dues. And it's another way of having protective style so I can keep my hand out of my hair. But on the weekends, I do take the comb rolls out just so my hair could, you know, to release some of the stress that the comb rolls put on it. But, yeah, this is it now. Nice, thick, thick fro. I'm telling you, you can't, you can't get the hands through it. It's... It's pretty thick. I can't wait till it's like, you know, so I can do other things with it besides just push it back. You know, I'm rocking the Mega Puff. That's that's me. I'm Mega Puff girl. So I just took the headband on, make sure it's extra tight, and slide it back. So yeah, that's me. But this is my hair. Um, not sure what's going on with it right now, but it always does like its own little thing. Of course, I have like different curliness on each little side so the textures are different but right now I think the front like comes like in between my eyes I'm not sure what was the length before I really really don't know all I know is I can comb roll it nice see what the sides are doing now like this side is down here to my jawbone so it's actually past my earlobe now. And then this side right here, see what we got going on right here. And that side is past my earlobe too. And then we have back. You can barely see that, but yeah, it's coming down. It's not like I'm wearing my hair like out. You know, I just want to have you know, do something besides the Mega Puff. So probably, and even then, I really couldn't wear some of the styles that we see the other young ladies wear on YouTube because of my job and because of the type of job that I have. I can't really wear some of the styles unless I twist it up and then pin it up. So it would have to be twisted and then pinned. You know, it can't be too, as they would call, faddish or anything like that. And even wearing my fro out, wearing my hair out like this, it can't be too much bulk because it can, I think it just it probably just interfere with the wearing of my uniform too. I tried to fit my cover on over this and it wasn't working. Not at all. But anyway, this is just a quick video to show you what's going on with this bird nest of mine. But I'm enjoying it. I'm getting into it. You know, I'm not too much into. I tried to do the curl definition, but I guess with my hair being as short as it is, I'm not really liking the way it's looking when the curls are defined. So I don't know, but it's it's still going. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm working it. I am most definitely working it. So yep, yeah, this is me. Sorry about that. This is me. But I'm going to go in, braid this up before it starts to get dry and tangled. And I do not want to have to deal with that. So you can see, like the back. Like the back has all the pretty curls. You know, the the back is hiding the pretty curls. It's like, why can't I have these all over? Like, you know, I can always feel them. Like, okay, here are the pretty curls back here at the crown of my head. But up here is the... The frizzy curls, you know, uh, if you can even call it a curl, it's just waves and it just stick right up on top of my head. They don't, you know, they don't do anything, just bunks. This part, you squish it, it stays squished. You know, this part, oh, nope, bunks is back up. So, yeah, we're going to have to work on that. But anyway, until next time, bye bye.